Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you, Carlos? Juan Carlos. I'm fine, teacher. Okay. I'm doing well, thank you. How was your day? Um, very relaxed, teacher. Okay. Oh, that's nice. So you didn't have much yeah. to do today. Sorry? You didn't have much to do today, I said. So it was, it wasn't a busy day. No, no, no. It's, okay. it's better than last teacher in my home. Um, I, 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 I work in my home. Okay. Uh, mm. Yeah, teacher. All right, that's very nice. And how about the the platform, Juan Carlos? I don't remember. Um, did you tell me you finished? I finished, teacher. Oh, you are done. Okay. Yeah. Pretty well. And did you send the documents for the new registration? In the document tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow's oh. time. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Just uh, remember about it tomorrow, please, because we are almost closing with that. So, yep. Keep it in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah teacher. Uh, uh, tomorrow in the, in the morning. All right. Very good. Rodrigo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, fine, very fine. Excellent. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. How was your Absolutely day? Absolutely good. Good, very good. It's nice. I like the water. Okay. So yeah. what did you do? Uh, I make a, I, I make a visit, a special uh, customer, and I think that I'm gonna be a. Big business. Okay. Okay. That's nice. And you told me you were done with the platform too, right? Yes. Yes, I finished it. Okay. But I like a, I like a copy that uh, the mail that the the um, uh, that you send our my factory for handle the situation because I don't know what's happened. Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't get it. Can you repeat it, please? I, 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 I know that the, uh, tomorrow it will be the last day for the new inscription. Yeah, exactly. But I am not sure uh, who was the person um, that sent information uh, or my company because uh, they uh, don't uh, know exactly what happened. Oh, really? Well, um, you probably should write to Miss Elena. Elena. Yes, Miss Elena. She's in the in the WhatsApp group, so you can okay. just search the number over there. Or okay. um, you could also contact Jonathan. Jonathan. He could also help you. Okay. Okay. Yes, because for me it's easy to obtain the sign and the copy of the Planilla Seguro Social. Social mm -hmm. Security is easy for me. Okay. And, uh, and, and I'm sure that, uh, that I can send, I will send tomorrow. All right, very good. Good evening, Marina. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? How are you? Um, uh, how's it going? What's the meaning? Uh, ¿cómo está? How are you? Ah, I'm fine. Okay, excellent. Thank you, teacher. How was your day? Busy, busy, but fine. Okay, that is good. Yes. Did you have to work? Yes. Um, uh, this day. Uh, I no. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I 
I went. I went to La Unión and returned to date at 7.30. Oh, that's pretty tidy. Yes, yes. And you live in uh, San Salvador, Marina? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, a long uh, trip. Yes, uh, because uh, yesterday I announced the class mm -hmm. because I traveled I went to La Unión. Yeah. In this moment. Home. Okay. Yes. Yes. But right. uh, in this moment, I am uh, in San Salvador. Okay. That's nice. And were you able to finish with the work in the platform? No, I didn't, teacher. You have not. But are you in section five already? No. No. Not uh, yet. I finish. I finish. A, a, section three but uh, before before the class mm -hmm. uh, i try um work in the platform oh after the class después de la clase after the class yeah yes after yes. okay pretty well just remember that we have um until tomorrow at midnight okay so the platform closes okay. at okay. midnight tomorrow remember to get the 80% before that, okay? Oh, okay, thank you, teacher. All right, good evening, Janari. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Uh, I had a, a good day. Great, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yes, so, teacher. Yes. What did you do? Uh, an account. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you uh, had to work today? Yes, yes. It was okay. hard. My day. All right. Uh, I I have been I I finished the unit four, mm -hmm. section four, four, and I'm going to start unit five, section five of the platform. You are just starting unit five, section five. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right, that's nice. Remember yes. again, tomorrow it closes at midnight, so remember to work before that, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Just complete it. Yes, teacher. I know. Thank you. Okay. Good evening, Hilda. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Great. Uh, I finally I finally the the platform exercise platform and the final exam. Mm -hmm. Yes. How was mm -hmm. it? Was it easy or difficult? And the exam uh, easy but a little difficult when uh, the create create the sentences but a uh, question two. Very okay. different, but it's okay. It's finished. All right. Nice. Yes. So, mm -hmm. congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Oscar Ernesto. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. And you, Oscar? Um, I am sick. sick. Oh, really? What's the matter? Sorry. What's the matter? Like. What is the matter? Uh huh. ¿Cuál es el problema o qué tiene? That's that's um, what it means. What's the matter? Um. How do you say gripe? Oh, the flu or um, a cold. Tos. The cough too. Uh -huh. y oh. Incapacitado cuatro días. Oh, okay, but at least you have time to rest. So just keep on resting, sleep a lot, and you're going to recover yeah. soon. Press get. Okay. And um, tell me about the work in the platform, Oscar. Have you finished? Yes, teacher. And um, I have much problem with uh, the final exam. Really, what happened? It's very difficult and 
Entonces, más que todo en la segunda parte, porque allí una letrita era la que me hacía falta. Ah, Por eso es de que no, 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 o sea, me la corregía, me la ponía incorrecta, pero guerreamos ahí hasta finalizar. ¿Ya solventó? Sí, ya, 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 ahorita ya está completo todo. All right, so congratulations. Thanks. Good evening, Vicky. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, very well. How was your day? Um, hard day, okay. but I hear. All right. And um, tell me about the platform. Have you finished? Yes, teacher. You're yeah. done. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank Silvia you. Roxana, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay. Um, today I've had a very busy day. Oh, it was busy? Um, yeah. um, yes, I'm tired. I can imagine. Yeah. And the platform, Sylvia, have you finished? Yes. You're done. Yes, teacher, finish. Okay, yes. excellent. Thank you, teacher. All right, so I think we're ready to start. So let me just get my presentation over here. Okay, so we are going to start with this activity, which is called charades. So what is it? Well, we are going to try to um, just mime a sentence. So through the chat, I am going to send a sentence to one of you. And then um, that person is going to have to mime it, not talking, only using your hands, your gestures, okay? You don't talk, you just mime. And your classmates have to guess what the sentence is. For example, and the sentences are in the simple, in, I mean, in the present continuous, okay? So for example, if I do like this, try to guess the sentence. So that would be? I am. I am. I am, okay, I am. I am dog, dog. I am calling? I, um, calling in cell phone. Calling? I am take, uh, taking the call. Taking a call, okay, very well. So that's what you have to do, okay? So let me choose, I, I, yes? Let me choose a person that would be, let's see, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, you're going to get a sentence in the chat. So let's see. In the chat? Yep. Okay, okay, the chat. There you are. You have to mind. We are reading the newspaper. Oh, you don't have to say it aloud. <laughs> Okay, so don't worry, let me send you another one. So the thing is that you have to mime it. Tiene que hacer mímica, gestos, pero no oh. decirla. Los compañeros tienen que, que adivinarla, okay? So let me send you another yeah. one, don't worry. Okay. Okay. Teacher, but uh, we can stop a little moment here because what? I am not clear about charade. Oh, charade, okay. what is exactly the translation of charade? Oh, well, it's just the name of the game we're playing. But, but the concept. The, the miming thing. The okay. name, the name of the game. Um, uh, the yeah. name of the game. It's just the name. Uh -huh. So it's this activity we're doing, just miming a sentence in order to, to okay. Um, guess it, okay? Or to make the others guess it, okay? All right, okay. so there you That's, are. Okay, we get it. Mm. 
Okay, so everybody try to guess. He didn't hear. No. Oh, no, he's doing it. So he does. we are. We are. Mm -hmm. We are listening. We are listening to the teacher. The we English are listening. Mm -hmm. The English class. Um, no. They're listening the music. To music, exactly. To Thank music. you, Rodrigo. <laughs> we are listening to music. Okay. Okay, so our next participant would be, let's see, Silvia Roxana. Silvia, you're going to get a sentence in the chat. Okay, teacher. There you are. Um, I think that she got the problem with, it, with her camera, I know. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Sylvia, are you there? Sylvia? Yeah, maybe she's having trouble with the connection or something. So how about um, Ilda? Ilda, could you participate? But you need to turn on your camera, is that okay? Okay. All right, so let me just... Okay, I'm sending you the, the sentence right now. There you are. Where is the sentence? In the chat? Yeah, in the chat. Mm. Um. I don't. Um. Mustache is a man. <laughs> Two words, mustache. <laughs> oh, Rodrigo, you're close. <laughs> mustache. Uh, oh. You are drinking something after all your drinking? Mm. You get a mustache. You're talking about man. Uh -huh. Food. So what's the pronoun for man? He is. He is, exactly. Okay, so he, he is. is. He's eating. Very good. Eating. Fruits, apple, yes, pineapple. You got it. He is eating fruit. He's eating fruits and fruits. Okay. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Um, do we have another person to participate? Anybody? Do we have a volunteer? Me. That is Marina. Marina. Okay. So, Marina, let me get uh, but the, but um, the problem with the camera. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me send you the sentence right now. There you are. Uh, 
All right, guys, try to guess. She's writing. Yes, she's writing. What is she writing? A letter? A poem. A poem. You got it. Pretty good. She is writing <laughs> a poem. Thank you, Marina. Thank you. Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a problem. Uh, eating it. Oh, yes, we got it. Don't worry. Don't worry, it happens. So no problem, okay. don't worry. Okay, so pretty well. Thank okay. you for participating in the trades thing. So now let's continue by talking about time expressions for the present continuous. <clears throat> so the very first expression that we can use is now, right? So we said that we use the present continuous for talking about things happening at the moment of speaking. So um, whenever we talk about the present continuous, we're talking about things that are happening now. For example, I am teaching you now. Then we also have to be more precise. We have right now. Okay, you can also use that one with the present continuous. Another one would be at the moment, at the moment. At the moment, I'm working with this company. Today, that could be another time marker for the present continuous. Then we have tomorrow for talking about near future, this week, and this month. So the last three, we use them to talk about the future. So please repeat, now. 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 Right now. Right, right now. Now. now, at the moment, at the moment, at the moment, the moment. Today. today, today, tomorrow, 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 this week, this, this week. Week. week, this month, this, this month. month. Okay, are we clear about the meaning of all of them? Yep, pretty well. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So this is what we are going to do now. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. So you work in small groups and you are going to make sentences using the different time expressions. Okay. Is that right? Repeat teacher. Yes. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you work together with your classmates in small groups. And what you have to do is to make sentences in the present continuous and using the time expressions. For example, okay. in the first one, you could write, um, let's say, I'm reading the newspaper now. Newspaper like this, right? Then you make another sentence with right now, another one with at the moment, and so on. Is it clear now? Yes, teacher. All right, so let me send you to the breakout rooms and you've got a couple of minutes to work on this. Um, um, I'm working hard today. Today, okay. Um, um, for example, uh, I visit my grandmother tomorrow. No, for, for the expression for the moment, uh, using the present continuous. For example, I I am I'm working hard today. Uh, for another uh, okay, example, okay. I watching TV at the moment. Using the expression uh, present, uh, 
the teacher present in, in, the, in the presentation using present continuous. Marina? Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> um, for example, uh, I working with my, how do you say, compañeros? Co Partner, co worker. Co worker. Um, uh, classmates I, in this case. Classmates. Classmates. Okay. Yes. Classmates. So co workers work. is uh, for the people that work with you. Ah, okay. And then uh, classmates is for the the ones that are in class with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I work with my classmate at the uh, at the moment. Is Very is that correct? Ah, okay. Yes, it is. Uh, I am studying. Uh, no. I am studying. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you doing? Como vamos? Uh, Fine, teacher. Okay, you're making the sentences. Yes, teacher, nos hemos repartido. All right, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Silvia. Dígame. Tiene ya las. Solo una me hace falta, permítame. Ok. Yo ya estoy listo. Yo también. Yo ya casi, permítame. Ok. Uh, um, I don't know. Juan Carlos? We are we are sending the document. Ah, we okay. are, we are mm -hmm. sending this this week. We are Se sending. We are sending the, the document. Yeah. Document this week. Yeah. Okay. And this month. Okay. We're talking this month. The new model this month. Okay, so um, did you make the sentences? Yes, teacher. Yes. Do we have any questions, any doubts about anything? 
No. Okay, so just give me a couple of examples using now. Let's see, Rodrigo. I have to turn on the microphone. We are reading now. We are reading now, excellent. Another one, um, Marina. With, with now. Yes, please. Um, I am drinking milk now. Okay, very good. Next one, right now, Janari. Give me one, please. Okay, teacher. I'm reading right now. Okay. Writing, right. Writing. writing. You're writing right now. Okay. I'm writing right now. Roxana Lisset. Do you have another one you're seeing right now? Uh, for example, I'm eating my dinner right now. Very good. Franklin, tell me another one, please. Uh, I practice English right now. I'm practicing English right now. Okay, great. Then we have at the moment, at the moment, that is, let's see, Vicky. Vicky, give me an example, please. Okay, she's singing at the moment. Okay, excellent. Juan Carlos, another one? We we are happening in the moment. We are at the moment. happening. Uh, what do you mean, Juan Carlos? Happy. Oh, we are happy. Okay, mm -hmm. we are happy. happy at the moment. All right. That is a sentence in the simple person, but that's fine. Don't worry. Okay, um, Oscar, do you have another one using at the moment? At the moment, mm -hmm. I am eating my dinner at the moment. Okay, thank you. Next one, today, Hilda. Yes, teacher. Can you For give me example? an example using today? Yes. And I am working hard today. All right. Very well. And let's see another one. Um, Marina. Yes, teacher. Give me another example using today. Today. Please. I working very hard today. Okay. Or oh, we todos o como se diría we are we are working hard uh, today yep that's fine thank you okay then we have tomorrow january give me another example please okay teacher let me see tomorrow 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 we are ending the class tomorrow okay very good Roxana Lisset, give me another one. I am studying English tomorrow. Okay. And then we have this week, Vicky. Um, he is playing basketball this week. Thank you. And Rodrigo, give me another, another example. Um, with this week. Mm -hmm. uh, something special is happening in this week. All right. Thank you, Rodrigo. And the last one this month. Let's see. Silvia Roxana, give me an example. 
um, I I am going uh, I am going beach this month. Okay, I'm going to the beach this month. Very good. All right, so that's how we use time expressions with the present continuous. So now let's talk a little bit about the yes, no questions. Yesterday, um, we watched the video. We saw that we have this structure, right? So um, as always, we need to change the elements or we change the order of the elements in the sentence. And uh, well, this is what we have. We start with the verb be, then we have the subject, then the verb in ing, and after that, we need a complement and the question mark. Here I have an example. Are they buying Christmas gifts? Are they buying Christmas gifts? And the short answers could be yes, they are, or no, they aren't. Then we also have um, some other options that are the, the long answers, right? So it could be, yes, they are buying Christmas gifts or no, they are not buying Christmas gifts. Here I have another question. Is your father working now? What could be the answers? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Okay, and how about the long answers? Yes, he is working now. Yes, he is working now. Or no? No, he isn't. He isn't, he isn't working now. Working now. Okay. And um, can you help me with some other examples of questions? Let's see, any volunteers? For example, uh, is your sister watching TV now? Okay, very good, thank you. Another one? Let's see, Vicky, can you make another question, please? Mm. Is she singing at the moment? Okay, very well. Next one, um, let's see, Roxana, tell me another question. Are they studying, are they studying now? Are they studying now? Okay, thank you. January. Give me another one. Are you learning English? Are you learning? Are you learning English? Okay. Thanks. And Rodrigo, how about another question? Are we finished the model? Okay. Excellent. All right, so that's how we make the questions, right? Just remember, we start with the verb be, am, um, is, or are, then we need the subject, then the verb in ing. So here, we are going to practice using this information. Here I have some prompts, the dolphin play in the sea. We are going to make sentences in the affirmative, negative, and interrogative form. So, for example, the first one, um, tell me the sentence, please, in the affirmative. Is the dolphin? The dolphin. I'm making a sentence, an affirmative sentence. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, the dolphin is playing. Are playing in the sea. In the sea. Okay, now make it negative. The dolphin, the dolphin doesn't. The dolphin isn't. Isn't, 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 isn't playing the sea. Playing in the sea. And the question would be? 
Is is the dolphin is dolphin playing in the sea? Playing in the sea. Exactly. So it goes like this, right? Let's see. Here we have another one. Number two. Tom cook spaghetti. Tom is cooking spaghetti. We say Tom, Tom is cooking, cooking spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> okay, the negative would be Tom isn't cooking. Tom isn't, Tom isn't cooking spaghetti. spaghetti. And the question is, is Tom, Tom cooking spaghetti? spaghetti? Cooking spaghetti. Okay. Now the next one. Let's see, Hilda. Can you give it a try, please? Yes, teacher. They are listening to the radio. They are listening to the radio. Radio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, the are, they aren't listening to the radio. They aren't listening to the radio. Are they listening to the radio? Exactly. They haven't. Pretty good, Hilda. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And number four, let's see, um, Vicky. Okay. She's wearing blue jeans. Hmm? She's wearing blue jeans. She, then she's wearing blue jeans. And the question is she wearing blue jeans? Is she wearing blue jeans? All right, thank you. Number five, Rodrigo. The key, the kids are okay. buying ice cream. Exactly. Are the kids the kids aren't buying? Ice cream. And the question is? Are the kids buying ice cream? Are the kids buying ice cream? Thank you, Rodrigo. Very good. And let's see, um, Roxana Lisette, can you help me with the next one? I, I I'm driving. I'm driving my father's car. My father's car. The negative. Am I? Um, I, I, I am I am not driving okay. my father's car. And the question I I am I am I driving my father's car. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, um, next one's going to be for Oscar Ernesto, number seven. The, mm -hmm. the mason building a house. The mason is, is building a house. Oops. Goodness. Okay, the negative. Uh, 
isn't. Not isn't. Yeah, the mason isn't. Building a house. Building a house. And the question is? Mm. Mason, the mason, is the mason building a house? Building a house. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, number eight is for Juan Carlos. Jack finishing. Jack is Jack finishing in is the river. Fishing. Fishing in the river. Mm -hmm. The name okay. is Jack is fishing in the river. And the question is Jack fishing in the river? Is Jack fishing in the river? Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Let's see. Silvia Roxana, help me with the next one. There you are. Yes, teacher. Uh, my mom uh, cleaning is the window is cleaning the window the window okay now make it negative uh, um, so yeah, my mom uh, my mom she she sent mm -hmm. is my, my mom she's in, she sent uh, is in cleaning the window in the window, thank you. And the question is my mom cleaning the window? All right, and we got one last, last one. Um, let's see, Franklin, help me, please. Okay. Number 10. Oh, it's pretty easy. Uh, the sun, the, the sun in shine? Is shining? The, this, uh, this, no, this, no. The sun is shining. The sun is shining. Mm -hmm. uh, the sun, the sun isn't shining? Isn't shining. In the question, is the sun shining? Exactly. Okay, thank you, Franklin. Now let's continue by talking about the WH questions. So the structure is similar to the one we use for the yes, no questions, except that we add the WH word, right? So we start with a WH word that could be what, where, when, who, how, and some others. Then we need the verb be, then the subject, then the verb in ing, plus the complement. For example, and we have what are you doing? What are you doing? What could be an answer for this? What is she cooking? What is she cooking? That's another example of a question. Okay. What could be an answer, Rodrigo? Uh, I'm doing the spaghetti. I'm, I'm cook cooking the spaghetti. Cooking spaghetti or you are making spaghetti, okay? In any case, you say making. Or making spaghetti. All right. Thank you. And then we have another question, which is, we, uh, where are you going? Where are you going? And what can we answer to that? Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to school. Going I'm going where? to school. 
Where are you going to work? Okay, where are you going to work? That could be another question. Very good. And um, our next question is, who are you inviting to the party? What can we answer? I invite it to my family. I'm inviting my family. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I invite in, uh, my girlfriend. Right. Okay, another question is, when are you arriving? When are you arriving? What could be the answer? I'm arriving at 7 p.m. Exactly. Excellent. Okay, so now I need you all to answer this question. What are you doing this weekend? So mention something you're doing. Let's see, um, let's start with Hilda. Hilda, what are you doing this weekend? And the, is the sentence is affirmative, is the present continuous? Yes, you just answer. I'm going somewhere. I am doing uh, this. I'm going to um, uh, working. I I going to work in the Santa Ana volcan volcan. Oh, you're going to climb the Santa climb. Ana volcano. Okay. Yes. So you say I'm climbing the Santa Ana volcano. I'm climbing Santa Ana Volcano. Okay, thank you, Hilda. Let's see, Franklin, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, i visiting my grandmother. Excellent. Rodrigo, what are you doing? Um. I am swimming in the river. All right. Roxana Lisette, what are you doing this weekend? I am visiting my father-in-law. Okay. January, what's your answer? I'm staying at home. You're staying home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Silvia Roxana? Um, I yeah, they they are going uh, my family uh, a church okay so you're going to church yes very good okay Oscar don't worry um all right, so let's continue with Juan Carlos Peña. What are you doing this weekend, Juan Carlos? I am going to play soccer. You're going to play soccer, okay. Vicky, what are you doing this weekend? I am going at the hospital. You're going to the hospital? Okay. Marina, what are you doing this weekend? I working in this weekend. Okay, for, you're working. Is, uh, for for a study, um, I study. I'm I am study. study English in this weekend. I'm studying English this weekend, exactly. Okay, okay. All right, nice. So now let's continue by listening to a conversation. Let me just get it. Okay, so we are going to listen. Um, please pay attention and remember that you can ask me about vocabulary or pronunciation when we stop the video. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcus talk about their family. 
I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, so now um, tell me, how many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Mm -hmm. Can you, Did you repeat, teacher? Uh, okay. Can you repeat, teacher, please? Sure. So we need to find out how many brothers and sisters do they have? How many brothers and sisters does Marcos have? Mainly only child. Okay, but mainly Marcos. It's an only child. And Marcos? Marcos has uh, three brothers and two sisters. Exactly. Marcos has three brothers and two sisters, and Mainly doesn't have any brothers or sisters. Only. She's yes. an only child. Only child. Only child. Okay, so um, do I have two volunteers to read the conversation? Me, teacher. Me teacher. Roxana and? Me, teacher. Mm, sorry, can you say your name? I didn't get it. Hilda. Hilda, okay. So, Hilda, start, please. Okay, teacher. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mary? Actually, I'm a only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What, what about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Okay, thank you, girls. And let's see, we have time for one more pair to read. So do I have any other two volunteers? Hey, teacher. Silvia Roxana and... Me, but, eh, Marina. Marina. Okay, Marina, start, okay. please. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am only shield. Really? Yes. Most families in China have only one shield. Now, nowadays, now a day. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? No, not really. A lot of a lot of families are smaller these days, but the families are great because, because you get loads of birthday presents. Okay, thank you, Marina and Silvia. All right, so it's time to leave. So we are going to continue practicing the conversation tomorrow, and we are also going to talk about the quantifiers. So that will be all for today's class. Thank you for coming. Take care. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Teacher, good night. teacher. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.